Everybody, happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great start to your week. Welcome to Monday Live with the Creativity Cave. I'm Dean Rico, and it's time to put our Stampin' Lips on. Uh, I have all kinds of awesome stuff to show you today, and I cannot wait for you to see everything. I hope that you're ready for some fun stamping time. Um, it's going to be a great day. Uh, I've got, like I said, all kinds of great stuff to do with uh, during our live today. And uh, we've got a little bit of everything. Um, and we'll see. Maybe, maybe Izzy will make an appearance. We'll see. <sighs> She's really into stuff, I got to tell you. Wow. So, if you watched last week, you know we have a new puppy. And bless her heart, she's very adorable, but oh, she's just always busy. <laughs> always in something. Always biting something. So, <sighs> it's really kind of exhausting. I'm not going to lie. She's been sleeping a little better, which is great. Um, we we actually got a little, a good good sleep this weekend, so that was lovely. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm really uh, I'm really loving her, but also longing for the time when she's just not so busy. <laughs> yes, you know what? Puppies are like newborns that are mobile. They really can't do anything on their own without getting into trouble and they're just trouble so oh no, am I in the shot? no. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so anyway the difference is is she's mobile though like newborn babies can't go anywhere and they wear diapers this one not so much so anyway, yeah, she'll probably um, visit right now. I think that she's sleeping. So her name is Isabella Sophia Rossellini Rico, or Izzy for short. <laughs> Those of you who know um, my love of friends will know, will recognize that. Um, so anyway, um, and Sophia is, she's named after... Um, our dog that died on Christmas this past year, Sophie. So, but Sophia seemed to go with Isabella Rossellini a little better. <laughs> so anyway, um, all right. So Ella came home this weekend to meet her and oh my gosh, she's threatened to take her back to school. And I was like, believe me when I say you cannot handle this dog. <laughs> so she'll be back to visit soon. I'm sure she's trying to finagle a way for me to bring the puppy to her or something. I don't know. It just cracks me up. She just absolutely adored her, which was very sweet. And Carl and Izzy are getting along very well. He loves um, playing with her. So that's very sweet. It's just, it's been a fun week. I took about a billion pictures and now I think I've kind of backed off a little bit. So, but I did take, I posted this um, on my social media. I took like the fun, the most fun picture um, on Saturday afternoon. And it was a live picture. If you have an iPhone, you probably know what that is. But this is how, <laughs> this was like the end of it. Isn't that hilarious? Uh, so um, that cracked me up. So this I'll show you. So this was actually the picture and it's a live one. So that's how it ended. And then I took a picture of that. So anyway, she's just the cutest. Oh, and then uh, as long as we're proud mom bragging for just a minute, because you know I can. So this is Carl's cross country team. Oops, I should probably, kidding, kidding, kidding. Here we go. Um, Let's see if I can get rid of some of the glare. No, not really. <laughs> this is Carl's team. He's in the middle with the cap on. Um, he had a race on Saturday and did really well. He placed fourth overall, which was really awesome, and second on his team. So that was really good. So he he was very excited, and he got a nice medal. It was heavy. Um, <laughs> and their team got a trophy for the team winning the meet. So that was pretty, pretty awesome. He was very excited about that. So that was fun. So... Here's a picture of Ella 
with Izzy. Izzy's so patient to take pictures, kind of like kids when they're young. They don't know any better, so they, sm they um, smile, <laughs> and I had to laugh. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. Do I have anything else to share with you? I think that's it. So um, did we take Izzy to Carl's Meet? Oh, no. No, she's, um, she doesn't, I think she needs another shot before she can just go out into the general public like that. Um, and also I didn't want to deal with her. She's not good on a leash yet. Um, she's barely been on a leash. And so I couldn't have to take, I, I am like, I am all in on Carl's meat. So I run all over the place and it would have been really hard with her. So Ella was happy to stay home and help. Actually, her one of her high school friends came over who goes to school here in town and um, and they played with Izzy for a while. So that was kind of fun. They, they got their fix. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm trying to think what else I have to tell you. I think that's all of it, the excitement. Here is just that puppy all the, all the time, that puppy. <laughs> so, all right, uh, I've got a couple of announcements for things coming up this week. So let me tell you about that. We've got game night. Uh, game night kicks off tonight with mystery stamping in the game night Facebook group. And uh, we've got some, um, we've got a fun mystery stamping project and then a fabulously awesome um, set of cards to make during game night tomorrow night. I'm very excited about them, actually. And I think they're going to be a lot of fun. I, actually, they're amazing, if I can just say. Um, I know. Could I be more excited? Probably not. But I am really excited about them because they're really fun and they're festive, but... Kind of, I don't know. I think you guys are going to like them. We're going to do just sort of a preview. Um, we're going to use one of the sets we're using on game night tonight, today in our projects that I make with you. Um, and it was one of the cards that didn't make it into game night. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, one of our make and take projects, or I'm sorry, I'm all... I'm all out of sorts because I can't find one of my sheets. <laughs> and darn it, I thought I had it and I don't. So let me find it really quick. And then I'll tell you all the stuff that's going on this month here at the Creativity Cave. So first of all, I still am in denial that it's even October. I don't know about you guys. Um, it doesn't seem possible that it could be October. Just saying. Where is that? my game night thing. Ah. Okay. Well, it's all right. Okay. So the link to register for game night is in the description of this video. And like I said, it's tomorrow night. We will be, um, we will be stamping, or yeah, we'll be playing bingo and stamping tomorrow night. Tonight is the um, is the live, or I'm sorry, the um. Wow, my son had a time trial and he said he ran a four minute fifty two second mile. Seriously, that's fast. He's um. Hey, they're getting ready for uh, um, like districts and see who goes to state. And he's kind of on the edge of varsity and not varsity. So ugh. anyway, um, okay, I'm laughing. Somebody said it's 80. Someone else said their first snowstorm is blowing into the Arizona mountains. Oh my gosh, it's crazy, isn't it? We had a bunch of rain, which is really good. Um, but yeah, I know, 452, that is a quick mile. I could not do like, I can't even think a mile that fast. That's crazy. Okay, so uh, I'm going to flip. I'm going to flip my camera. 
and show you what I've got going on this week. Okay, so my game night sheet, I can't find. I don't know where it went, but it's okay. All right, so we've got, um, I've got two online cl or two classes coming up this month. The first is the merriest wishes, or I think it's merriest moments. Did I write wishes? I'll fix that. <laughs> My other one was wrong too. I can't, yes, it's merriest moments. Oh my gosh, this should be moments. How lame is that? Um, I spelled a word wrong on my other one. I'll show you because I haven't had a chance to reprint it yet. This is merriest moments. <laughs> anyway, so this is my creativity to go kit and I'm super excited about it. It's going to be a lot of really fun projects and I think you're going to love it. We're even going to do a couple non-Christmassy projects in this class. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then our online class in collaboration, which you can see is spelled wrong. Collaboration. Um, it is the Artistically Inked online class. And we, um, we actually thought a lot about this. And rather than doing a Christmas card class, we decided to do a Christmas giving class. And what I mean by that is um, you're going to make nine cards plus a cute little gift bag that you can put all the cards in or some of the cards, no judgment, and give these as gifts. And um, the idea is that uh, may maybe some of you um, have been following the news and that there are all of these um, cargo ships stuck off of the coast of California waiting to be unloaded. And it has been um, pretty clear that Christmas products are probably not going to get here in time for Christmas this year. So we thought you could make Christmas gifts. And I know I give handmade Christmas gifts a lot uh, for my, my relatives actually require, I was going to say require, request. Well, some of them are required, to be honest. <laughs> but um, so we thought we would make um, a class that you could make the projects and give the completed projects as gifts this year. And of course, you want to start early. It's never too early to start. So that is how we designed this class. And I think it's going to be a really great class. The projects we have are beautiful, but they're not too complicated. Meaning if you wanted to make several of these, you know, you could make several sets of these projects and it probably would not actually kill you. So um, it's really fun. I did send out the registration for my October classes just this afternoon. And um, if you didn't get them, I will be posting them on um, my website website soon like in the next day or two um and then um someone said 3d stuff like you would like to see 3d stuff or what do you mean by that okay so yeah um and I really love this uh this bundle as well. It's a great one. Um, my Sunshine and Creativity Delivered boxes, we're actually packaging them up tonight. Um, so they are uh, getting ready to go out and the reviews have been amazing so far. I have had a ton of people really enjoy these kits and, and um, love what comes in them, the projects that come with them and all of that stuff. Um, and so that is uh, coming up. The registration for our next month is happening this month. So you register for November's box during October. Uh, and we're going to be doing um, snowflakes. Now, I'm going to be using the Merry Snowflakes bundle. But if you don't have that, you have a different uh, snowflake bundle. We've had a lot of snowflakes in the last several years. You can certainly use other snowflake bundles um, to complete these cards, or you can get this bundle and I'll have a registration so that it comes with your box coming up in a little bit here. Uh, so that is something you can get. You do need to register for it by October 31st. You can't really see that, but there uh, to get in on this kit. So um, you register the month before and then they ship on the 15th. So like I said, we're packaging up the boxes for this month and I'm very excited about them. In fact, we're going to make one of the cards that didn't make it into this month's box tonight. Um, 
and I had a hard time managing, so I actually um, put an extra card in. I couldn't, I couldn't choose. So, oh well. All right, um, the BlackBerry Beauty class or All Star Tutorial PDF is available for purchase, or you can get it for free when you shop in my online store. And shopping in my online store really helps um, so much. It helps me continue to be able to bring free videos just like this one to you each month or each week. Pardon me. <laughs> So I hope um, you can enjoy shopping with me to get this. You get this for free when you spend $50 in my online store. It costs $15. You can purchase it individually if you would like. And then I also have, if you spend $75, I will throw in the Genial, Genial Gems for free as a gift this month too. Now this goes to the 20th of um, October. And these gems are perfect for the holidays. Um, they're kind of neutral colors. So they work with greens. They work with kind of neutral colors. Um, this is sort of a peachy shade, but it goes with like pinks and reds really nicely. So it's a great, um, it's a great set of gems to have on hand for your holiday crafting. Okay. So, uh, next up I have, um, I, oh, I have a bundle to give away here in just a little bit. I'm going to, I think I'm going to make a card and then we'll do a, a, a giveaway. Um, we had a card challenge issued uh, a couple weeks ago that if you participated in, you got entered into a drawing. Now, full disclosure, if you win and you are not a U.S. address, um, you'll get an online class PDF of your choice for free. I can't send you a, um, bundle because of Stampin' Up! rules. Just full disclosure. So there. Hi. Hi. Well, you ran pretty fast, huh? 452. Yeah, that's moving. Nice. Very cool. You got second. Second? Yes. And the whole team? No, varsity didn't run. But oh. I would have beaten a couple of varsity kids. Nice. Who would beat you? Rocco. Okay, cool. All right. So. See all the ladies that I told them because I read your text kit when it came in and they were like, wow, that's fast. So they were impressed. Mm -hmm. He ran 509 and like cried. Oh, okay. Well, um, good job, sweetie. That's awesome. They're saying congrats. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. I win. So we're going to make um, our first card is a really simple card. And I love this one because you can take the idea for this card and switch it up, like switch up the papers and do lots of different things um, to kind of make it your own. And uh, so it's very versatile is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm also trying to quick find, oh, here. I pulled the stamp set aside. So I'm going to use the Little Delights stamp set. And what I love about this too is there's lots of different things in here that you can um, that you can use for lots of different seasons. So there's definitely the Christmas, but um, <laughs> there's a birthday, there's you're such a blessing, a thank you, uh, Halloween stuff, ho, ho, ho. So lots of, lots of fun stuff with this. Okay, so I'm going to also combine with this some DSP from um, from this set. I feel bad. The Sweet Stockings DSP. I, and the reason I feel bad is I have not used this yet, but I for sure will. Um, I need to make a card to send to the, um, to the breeder we got Izzy from. So of course I'm going to use this. I mean, hello. But anyway, I really love this paper. So we're going to use that on this card too. So I've got two strips of this paper. So I'm going to start with a pool party card base, which is kind of a nice, bright, happy color for um, the holidays. And if you want a really wonderful philosophical discussion about holiday cards, um, definitely watch last week's live. <laughs> That was fun. Um, I actually got a lot of really awesome feedback from you guys about that. So that was that was really cool. I appreciated it. And it sounds like you guys appreciated the live. So yay, that's all good. Now I've got two strips of DSP. This one is three quarters of an inch by five inches. 
I'm just going to add right here to the edge. And then this piece is one and a quarter inches by, oh, it's probably four and a half inches. And so I'm just going to overlap these two on here like so. Okay, so that's the basis of our card. Then what I want to do is take and do my stamping. I've got a little piece of white here. And we're going to stamp the Merry Christmas um, on our paper. And what's really fun about this is that you can do a lot of different things with it. Like I said, you can, you can use all kinds of different sentiments um, and then just change up the paper to get a totally different look. I'm going to use some cherry cobbler ink on this because that will coordinate with my paper so much. So I'll just stamp Merry Christmas right there. And I'm going to attach that to a little piece of cherry cobbler cardstock. And by the way, this is the perfect card to make kind of in bulk. And then I've got another piece of old olive cardstock. And we're gonna put that on here like that. Okay, I'm gonna pop this up onto our card. Love this. Like so. Um, the size of all these layers. Um, okay. The white is three by one and three quarters. The cherry cobbler is three and an eighth by one and seven eighths. And then the old olive is three and a half by two and a quarter. Okay, now we're not done. We're gonna embellish. So I've got, this is the pool party striped ribbon, which is part of the suite with the stockings set. And We'll just, I tied a bow with this. Okay, and I'm gonna attach this with a couple of glue dots. Like that on there. But wait, there's more. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to take some of my matte decorative dots, and I love these because um, you really can use any of these on your card, and you'll have a cute project. So I'm just going to put a couple of these on here. Oops, I'll put some of these littler ones right up here. I knew that was going to happen. So that one and that one right on here like so and boom. Then um, I'm going to open this up and we're going to do a little stamping on the inside as well. Um, someone asked, Snowy Mom, can't remind me your name because I feel it's like Kimberly, isn't it? I always feel weird calling you snowy mom. <laughs> um, she asked if the pin leaves a hole in my ribbon. And the answer to that is not really. Um, yes, it does. But it's not noticeable enough even on like the really, um, on the really fine ribbon. So... Uh, I just was grabbing a paper so I can stamp on my background here. 
Um, so no, it doesn't really not noticeable enough and I'm kind of particular about that. So yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to stamp some of this. This is like mistletoe kind of stuff. And I'm just going to add some of this to the inside of our card, um, in some pool party ink just to dec decorate. So there we go. So pretty cute. <laughs> Kim, thank you. <laughs> Um, and really simple. That's my favorite part. And like I said, you can really switch this up just by changing out the layers of um, DSP. Now, now that I mentioned this, this is one of the cards that I created during one of my um, Stamp Happy Academy live presentations. And we do three live uh three lives per month and those lives are geared towards helping you get better at crafting so that when you sit down to stamp you um can get things done faster it's really um helpful to to learn how to design cards so that the process goes faster and you're um, more successful. And also a lot of attention is paid towards using up printed paper. You all, y'all know your little DSP hoarders. I know you are because I, first of all, I sell you the DSP, so I know. Second of all, because I am too, let's be honest, I, um, I definitely love my DSP. And so this is uh, one of the designs. So I show um, the card Hard layout in general in our um, lives and then I show you different ways to use them. Um, this is one of my most popular classes that I've ever had and it's part of our Stamp Happy Academy which is um, our membership site and you when you join you have access to almost so far uh, we started it in January so you've got months and months and months of classes that you can go back and watch the old ones um, tons just like insane inspiration so there's three options you can do a basic membership which gives you four online classes per month like two of them are the ones I mentioned earlier today the um, artistic impressions and the um, or artistically inked pardon me and the merriest moments online classes. Both of those PDFs will be um, posted to the Stamp Happy Academy website, plus two more uh, from my friends Barb and Kelly. So the three of us work on our classes together. Um, so they each contribute a class of the three of us, and then we do one class together. Um, and then there's a live only option where you just do the live classes each month. And like I said, there's three of those each and every month. Um, and you can go back and watch the old ones. They're all housed in one place, which is just wonderful. And then the third option is to get both. And when you do that, you save $5 um, over the cost of it. So it's a really great um, program. And, and thank you to those of you who are chiming in here who've been a part of it. It's, um, it is one of my passions to share um, how much... Uh, how much I love teaching people how to use their products, how to make their the most of their crafting time, because I know your time is precious and you want to be able to sit there and make projects rather than sit there and think about projects. So that is what we're all about. So anyway, if you have any questions about that, holler. Um, otherwise, you can check out our website at stamphappyacademy.ning.com, N-I-N-G.com. Okay, that's the end of that commercial break. <laughs> All right, now I think it's time to, I'm going to do a little show and tell as well as give away a bundle. And uh, let me show you some things that I received in the mail this week. It was a good mail week this week. Uh, I've got some really awesome cards to share. I forgot to share them last week, to be completely honest, so I'm a little embarrassed. Um but it was fun. I think I might have shared this one last week. It might have just ended back up in my pile. I don't know. But um, so here are the cards that I received. I think I mentioned to you, I did, um, I did a little uh, 
get a little promotion in my Stampin' Up! business that I'd worked for quite a while on. So this was one of the cards I received from one of my downlines, Sharon. Actually, Sharon is the one who helped me promote because she promoted, so that was pretty cool. Um, but this is a congratulations card from her, so that was very, very sweet. Here is a thank you card, and this is so sweet too. This is from one of my team members, Greta. She actually was one of our... Um, display stampers from the uh, Stampapalooza retreat that happened a couple weeks ago. And she made this gorgeous card, which I just love. And um, I thought it was funny. She was sending me a thank you card. She's the one who deserves the thanks because she did such an awesome job. Um, here's another thank you card. This one is from Francie, who I think she's on here. And I loved this one. And she said something really cute in here. Um, Oh, oops, what the heck happened here? I should have used my spoon first. <laughs> that made me giggle. Um, oh, there she is. Yes, so I loved this card. Isn't this beautiful? So this one features the Love of Leaves bundle, and she snuck a little bit of this um, bedazzling DSP in here. So that was really fun. So thank you so much, my dear. Here is another really cool congratulations card, of course, in my colors. This is from Melissa, who is on my team, and she had a very sweet little note and look some gold embossing in here. So that was very lovely. And of course, she used my signature color, which I just gotta love that. Another really pretty card. This was a thank you card from Cynthia. Um, and I think she's on here. She uh, was saying, um, you three simply knocked it out of the park with fall stamp of Palooza. So I really appreciated this. And again, she used my signature colors. You gotta love that. Um, so thank you so much, Cynthia. I'm not sure if you're on here but I really appreciate it. Also, I've got this cute thank you card. Isn't that awesome? This was from Barbara, who was also um, who was at our retreat. So she was very sweet. Um, another gorgeous thank you card. I just love this one too. It's got, um, and I, I'm terrible, but I love doing this. Do you guys do this when you get a card? You're like, ooh, how did she do that? She die cut, um, this is from that paper, but she die cut the kind of intricate die and it looks so cool over the pool party background. Um, so I really was digging that. And I think the pool party is watercolored too. I'm pretty sure if I could dissect this card a little further, I would see that it was. So, so many wonderful details on this. This is from the um, beautifully penned DSP, which was a celebration item. And then the hand penned um, stamp set. So this was so sweet. And oh gosh, who sent this to me? I'm pretty sure it was a member of my team. Hold on. Do I still have my envelopes? <laughs> I think it was from, uh, was it? Sure. Maybe I don't know. Naughty Dina. I thought I had saved the envelope, but I don't know that I have it here. So anyway, I loved this card. So thank you to whoever. Oh, Karen, you sent it. Thank you, Karen. I was like, I can't find the envelope. I think there was a note too. I have to giggle. Um, I say, uh, I have to say that I love um, cards that I receive that have little notes. And a lot of times the notes are in separate papers and I keep them in a special place because when I'm having a bad day, I read them. And I've gotten a couple just really, really sweet notes, which were really helpful because I had kind of a rotten week last week. I had a little weird situation. So I appreciate that so much. Um, and then here is a card. This one is from Sharon, who's also on my team. And this was also for my Gold Elite promotion. So that was very sweet. So thank you to her. And then finally, I have one more cool card. I love this too. Um, we used this embossing folder last week on our in, during our live. And then this is the text the frame textures and frames celebration stamp set. I I just love it. And um, this one was from Ginger. And Ginger's on Kelly's team, but um, we did a we did, we have a weekly um, team training call and she put her name in the Zoom as Regina Falange. And I will just love her until the end of time for that, which is a funny thing from friends. So anyway, um, and then I have one more thing. <laughs> this came and I have to laugh because I thought this was team swap, so I didn't open it right away. 
And when I did, I was just like, oh my gosh. So first of all, here's the card. Um, and this is from another gal on my team, Sherry Pyre, who is just the sweetest. And she made this gorgeous card that uh, features, of course, my stamp set that I just loved. And she was so sweet. But then she sent me some other goodies. So I have a gold crown, which, by the way, I meant to wear this. <laughs> and um, it's it's like for kids, but I can get it on my head. <laughs> um, and then she sent me some revitalizing gold dusk lip masks infused with vitamins and minerals. So that was fun. And um, one of my favorites, Walker Shortbread. Yum, yum, yum. Also, these are really good too. Your deli squares with caramel. Mm -mm -mm. And then there were some lip glosses in a variety of colors. And then this one in kind of like a gold. So, and look at this. It's just so pretty. So I just kind of was mind blown by this. So thank you so much to you, Sherry. That was so, so amazing and awesome. I really appreciate it. So I really, really um, am thankful for all the happy mail that comes in my mailbox. It is so much fun to receive. So thank you for thinking of me, everybody. Um, I so appreciate it. Okay, now I have a bundle to give away. Um, and ooh, where did I put it? Here we go. This is the Inspiring Canopy um, Dyes and Inspired Thoughts stamp set from the annual catalog. It's a fabulous bundle. And um, again, this was for our card challenge. It was the funky triple fold card. So I've got, um, I've got my friend's mug here that I'm going to use. <laughs> to put all the names in. So we had Mary Draper, Eileen Byrne, Anne English, Susan Warmly, Debbie, Debbie Lindauer, Sheila Hartman, Dodie, I think that's how you say that, Payer, Pager, I'm not sure how you say your last name. I feel like it's fancier than um, what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, Natalie, Jonathan, Mary Bauer, Stacy Hagapan, Beverly Holcomb, Jean Maxwell, Robin Say, I think that's how you say it, S E A Y, uh, Jan Jansen, Paula Wolf, Lisa Petrella, Carla Saroche, uh, Kathy Wenzel, Lo Delora Van Ravensway, Susan Miza, oh, I know, and she even told me how to say it, and I'm not sure. Susan My Mises, Mises, sorry, Susan, I totally can't remember, Karen Harris, Cheryl Moen, Joy Jones, Debbie Reynolds, Kathy Charlton, Shelley Starr, Mary Schneck, Ruth Vorl, Mary Stroman, Linda Bremner, Sherry Pyre, Jennifer Watson, and Heather Sides and Tina Riddle. Okay, so all of these names are in the jar. Okay, so I'm going to mix them all up. And by jar, I mean my friend's mug that is ginormous and like you could have, I don't know, you could put a lot, you can fit a lot in this. I'm curious how much it actually holds. Okay, so the winner is Carla Saroche. I think that's how you say that, Carla. Congratulations, you're the winner. So, Carla, I'm pretty sure I have your address somewhere, but if you would um, email me your address, your mailing address, that would be awesome. Congratulations to you. Um, someone was asking where the challenge was, so I announced this a couple weeks ago. It is posted on my Stamping with the Creativity Cave page. Um, and we, I demonstrated a fun fold and then definitely check it out. Cause there's tons of really awesome projects that were shared in over there. So check that out. Okay. Next up, we're going to make a project that was one of the ones that didn't make it into my 
uh, Sending Sunshine and Creativity box. So uh, I really liked this one, but uh, I just, I bumped it out for a different card. So it happens. Um, so here's the card. Isn't that pretty? So let me show you how I put this together because it's pretty simple. I'm going to start with a piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to stamp this gorgeous background splotchy image in three colors. Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Misty Moonlight. So we're going to take these three colors and create this fun background. And what I love about this is that it's kind of um, just different colors than the usual. So I'm just going to kind of stamp these down diagonally across my card like this and then I will leave some of the coastal cabana showing and then I'll do my next darkest color which is Bermuda Bay you can see I clean my stamp off real good so then I'm overlapping the colors and we'll just stamp that down along the corner and then finally we'll do our Misty Moonlight. Again, cleaning. <laughs> okay, like so. And then you can even stamp one more right there. And that just creates like a really cool, um, a really cool kind of background on our card, which I love. Um, then I'm going to put this on a Misty Moonlight card base. But first I want to kind of carry the design through and so I'm going to stamp a little bit on that card base in the corner with our misty moonlight so we'll just do a little bit in the corner like so isn't that cool it's just a little is going to peek through I'm going to do one more right there okay so now I will take and adhere this to a layer of uh, Coastal Cabana, the color that lets us know God loves us. Um, what set did the background come from? This is from the Gorgeous Leaves bundle, which is this right here. And then there's uh, a bunch of dyes that come with it. Not sure if they're all in here right now or not because I've been working with it quite a bit lately. Um, so I did take one of the leaves and I die cut it from a scrap of white cardstock. And I'm just going to attach this onto my card. I'm actually going to pop it up. And I thought about this and you guys will laugh at me, especially if you know me well. I thought, you know, you can, um, you can take your die cuts and like die cut three or four of them and then glue them together. And that will create one thicker die cut like it's popped up. And that sounded really nice and all, but like die cutting a bunch of these at once, that's a lot of work. And then gluing them together, that's a lot of work. So I just die cut one and put a single um, mini dimensional here on the back. And then I'm just going to put it on my card. And you know what? It worked. <laughs> so um, that's how I came up with that. Uh, you're welcome. Okay, then I'm also going to use my sentiment from the um, uh, Biggest Wish stamp set, which is probably one of my favorite stamp sets. So it's got all these fun um, sentiments in, in the different fonts. And so I just am going to stamp Friend with my Misty Moonlight ink over the top on that side. And then I'm going to take some white uh, Baker's Twine and attach this. Now, I will tell you, um, Becky voted for this card to be in the class, but I did. I kicked this card out for a different one. And I'll, if, you, if you get your Sunshine and Creativity box, I will tell you <laughs> which card I did because I did. I did like it. And I'll show you one other card. Well, no, I'm going to leave it. I'll show you another time. But um, I really like the card that I kicked out for this one, or that I kicked this one out for that I did leave in the um, Sunshine and Creativity this month. So it is it is so hard because cards are kind of like your children. You know, some of them you really love and others of them you love more. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
<laughs> um, but it is hard to choose between the projects. And sometimes um, they're based on different things. But I really like the other one I did. And it was also kind of simple like this, but just different. But it was really cool. Okay, so I tied some baker's twine. We'll cut those tails off a little bit. And then I'm just gonna pop this up. Now, one of the things I love about this is this is, to me, an all-season card. You could send this to anybody for any season, whether it's fall, winter, spring, summer. It doesn't matter. The colors are just kind of fun, um, and I love the background that we built up with this. But wait, we're not done either. So I want to show you what we're going to put on the inside because we got to stamp the inside. Okay, so we'll trim that down a little. I think my, my loops were a little too big. Okay, so now on the inside of our card, um, I'm going to take and stamp that kind of splotchy design in here once again. Okay, and then um, I'm going to, well, I'll be honest. Uh, hold on. I need my scrap paper. Ah! You would think I would just have tons of scrap paper in white laying around. Turns out that is not true. Okay, so I stamped the stamp that kind of coordinates with the die cut on here. And then we're gonna die cut it. Oh, and look, it's all done. And I'm just gonna pop this up over the top, kind of um, on here, I'm gonna trim that stem a little shorter too. And so, well, actually I'm not gonna pop it up. I'm just gonna adhere it on top of this so that we kind of have a coordinating inside image as well for the inside of our card. Isn't that awesome? So I really like this one. I think it turned out awesome. Okay. So that was our second card. Our next card is a little Halloween fun. Let me just put away some ink. Because I know some of you are like, Dina, close those ink pads. I know. I like to live on the wild side. Which makes me giggle. Is Ashley here? Mm -hmm. Has she met Izzy? Mm -hmm. That's okay. No judging. All right. So our next card is a little Halloween. And I am going to use the Frightfully Cute Bundle. This is a really cute stamp set and coordinating dies that coordinate with it. And I love the dies. They're so much fun. So you can see we've got a bunch of pieces. I love this tag. And then this is like a little label and another label, which are just so much fun. Okay. So let me show you what we're going to make with this. I got to pull my stamps out real quick. So I've got the... Um, There we go. I was going to say, I can't find some of it. So Frightfully Cute. And this is in the mini catalog. So I'm going to start with a card base that is um, basic gray. Okay. And then we're going to put on here three pieces of DSP that I've cut from, this is the Cute Halloween so this is really cute um, DSP pattern pack that has all these fun Halloween um, designs. But what I love is there's like black and white or kind of gray designs on the opposite side of all of them. And you know I'm a big fan of, po of black and white patterns. So this is, of course, um, no different. So I've cut three of these pieces. They are one and a half by three and three quarters each. And so, like I said, they're kind of colored on one side and then black and white um, and gray on the other. Okay, Shannon says, I'm on the West Coast. What time is bingo tomorrow? It would be at 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain, 7 p.m. Central, and 8 p.m. Eastern. So there you go. 
Okay, so aren't these cute? Now, by the way, a tip. I put the two pieces on each end and then I center the center one in the middle. That way there's not one that's like way out of sync from the others. So they're boom, boom, boom. Okay, um, next I've got um, a layer of basic gray. Okay, and then I'm going to adhere it to a layer of smoky slate. And you can see I die cut the little web out of this um, smoky slate layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover that up with, the, with this layer. And then I'm going to attach it to this. But before I do that, I thought it would be pretty awesome if we took some of our Clear Wink of Stella and just kind of put it on the web because obviously that would make the web even awesomer. And awesomer is 100% a word, just in case you were wondering. I did giggle because Whitney had just come in here and she's a teacher. And I'm pretty sure she's shaking her head going, awesomer is so not a word, Dina. But she also likes my stamping vernacular, so it's okay. <laughs> and now you can see there's just a little shimmer on here, which makes it just kind of fun. A little, just a little, a little something uh, to add to this. Okay, I'm actually going to put this kind of in the middle, maybe maybe over just a slightly, and I'll attach it. Honestly, all I really need is a glue dot in the center of this. Okay, next up, uh, I've got one of the labels that I die cut with some Highland Heather ink and or cardstock. And I'm going to stamp with Highland Heather ink as well as black ink. And so we've got um, the cute little images from the stamp set. So we've got a little bat and then, of course, the batty for you stamp or sentiment. Okay. Oh my gosh, I can't pick up anything. I had I had a rough nail week last week. I broke like three of my nails. They're all my they're my normal nails, um, even when they're not this short. But <laughs> to make them even, um, she had to cut them down a bit. <laughs> it was embarrassing. She's like, "What did you do?" Like it was a rough week last week. I got a new puppy. I didn't sleep much. I didn't really accomplish hardly anything like oh no <laughs> okay so I've got a cute little bat on there and then I'm going to stamp batty for you on here like that and that looks so cute okay and then I also die cut the little tree from this stamp set and we're going to attach that uh, on here as well. And I think I'll take a little liquid glue and put that on here. Okay. So there we go. All right. Now uh, I'm going to attach these two layers together. like so and then um, I'm going to take some of our black gingham ribbon which is like one of my faves and I'm gonna tie this on but before I do that well actually I'm gonna show you how I, I'm gonna do this so I'm gonna take this and cut this to be about that long And then I'm going to do, yay! Uh, I'm going to take my Highland Heather um, Stampin' Blend and we're gonna put this on here. I'm gonna color my ribbon! How awesome is that? So when I first discovered there's actually I think a picture of them coloring this in the catalog when I first saw that I was just like oh, what I was excited can you tell
Okay, so there we go. I use my dark Highland Heather ribbon. Okay. All right. So, um, now what I'm going to do is pop this up on here. Okay. But... I'm actually going to tie this down first. Okay, so I left it long enough so that I could tie a little bow on here. And isn't the, pur the purple just adorable? Like, seriously. So cute. Oh, thanks, Deb. Deb just said, remember to give Dina a thumbs up. That would be so awesome. A thumbs up and a hit the subscribe button would be so fabulous. I really appreciate it. Um, that helps so much with the people at YouTube. They love it when you like um, when you like my video and when you subscribe to my channel. Okay, so we've got this piece and then I'm just going to kind of pop this up um, on top of here like so isn't that just so stinking cute and then finally we're gonna add it to our card which I love okay all right Okay, so um, this is just such a fun bundle for Christmas, or Christmas, what am I talking about? For um, Halloween, there's so much you can do with these little dies and everything. It's just the best. Now I've got a little layer inside that I'm going to attach. Um, this is a smoky slate layer. And we'll put this in here um, like this. Okay, remember, this is my channel. <laughs> so if you wanna talk about being a demonstrator, can you guys please do it someplace else? Cause I'm trying to promote my business. I would really appreciate it. All right, uh, next up, I want to just stamp a little bit on the inside. So I think I'm gonna take my little bat and just stamp that a few times. to just kind of add some fun to the inside of my card. Oh, isn't that cute? Love it. All right, there we go. Okay, um, our final card is going to be, um, this was one of the cards that I was, um, well, it's the stamp set for, for tomorrow's game night that we're gonna use. Um, and the delivering chair stamp set is so fun. Um, it is a really great stamp set for, um, more than just Christmas. You can see this one is kind of a fall one and this one is course of Christmas and, um, is really, uh, awesome. And it is super easy to use because it's kind of a two-step stamp. So, uh, I'm gonna make a Christmas card but you could totally make this um, any, like I said, fall card or whatever season you want it to be. So I've got the Christmas tree and I've got the dress bottom. So the top of the lady is going to be the tree and then the bottom is going to be the dress. And then we're going to um, add a little sentiment over the top. Okay. <coughs> so to do this, I'm going to start with a piece of white cardstock and we're going to stamp this in black. Um, it's a really uh, great set for coloring with blends. Um, but I'm actually going to do a different technique with this particular one. Uh, I'm going to use some printed paper. 
This is from my um, Regals paper. And I'm going to pull out one of the patterns. This is um, Blackberry Bliss. And I'm going to stamp it in my stays on. Now, normally I would stamp this in um, Black Memento ink. And actually, we're going to stamp the rest in Black Memento. But because I'm stamping on this paper, uh, I want to use stays on because it's a little bit more opaque and solid black, if you will. Okay. So I'm going to just stamp this on here like so, like that. All right, so that's the dress. Now I'm going to stamp the rest of this in my memento ink. So this stays on. It was only for uh, stamping it on this piece. Oh, we have a visitor. Hold on. I'm going to flip the camera. They were, the ladies were asking. <gasps> Hi. They were hoping. Do you guys think she's bigger? Do you think she's grown? <laughs> Izzy say, hello to the ladies. At some point, you're not going to be able to do that. <laughs> I know. It's, I got to do it now while I still can. Oh, yes. You just got to be chewing on something. <laughs> oh, did you just wake up from a nap? Did you just have a nap? She gives lots of kisses. Oh, they say she's grown. Yes. Can you the say hi? The camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she only is 10 pounds. <laughs> ah. <laughs> they say she's grown. We need to weigh her each week, I guess. She was 10 pounds when we picked her up. Oh, such a lover, isn't she? She's like, okay, I'm done with this. My tank is full. Oh, you. Okay. All right, say goodbye to the ladies. Bye bye. Bye bye. She's like, what can I eat in here? Oh, nothing. <laughs> so many things. Yeah. And I'm, I don't mind puppy slobber, but I don't like dog slobber. <laughs> But she's so cute. How could you not like it? Okay. I'm going to flip the camera around. What did you say? I said puppy slobber is less slobbery than dogs. Yeah. Kind of like babies. Like, babies can do almost anything and it's cool, except for blowouts. That's not cool. But everything else is like, oh, you're drooling all over me? No problem. Anyway, okay. You guys all think she grew. Okay, that's good to know. All right, I'm going to flip my camera back, and we're going to get back to our last project, but I'm glad Andy brought her in for you guys to see. Okay, so like I said, I stamped this in stays on so that it shows up better on my printed paper, and then we're going to stamp it again on my card, but this time we're going to do it in memento ink. Okay because we're going to color this um, with our Stampin' Blends. All right, so there we go, same image. Now on top, we're going to stamp the tree image. And what I'm actually going to do, just a little bit, sorry, I didn't, did I grab the right block? So I'm gonna, um, I'm going to overlap these slightly, but it's no big deal because we're going to cover uh, some of this up. Just making sure. Okay. So I overlapped this, but we're going to adhere this piece over the top. Okay. So this is called paper piecing. When you stamp the design on a piece of printed paper often, but it could be just a color of cardstock too. Um, and then we piece it together. So I'll cut this out. And this is from the Regals Prints 6x6 paper. And this is the Blackberry Bliss color. Oops. 
And whenever I color anything like this out, I'm, or cut out anything like this, I'm gonna just leave a little bit of a border of whatever I'm using. Um, oh, but not, you know what, on paper piecing, we wanna cut it right on the line, so sorry. <laughs> We're gonna cut it kinda on the edge, the outside edge of the line. So I'm just gonna go through this whole thing again really quick. But luckily this is a pretty simple shape to cut out. It's not very complicated. So right on the line. Normally I say, I do say a border. And in fact, you can see I did that because I do always leave a border. But on this we wanna cut just on that outside edge of the line. Because, like I said, we're gonna line it right up. So now her skirt is a pretty plaid pattern. I love it. Okay. So there we go. Now we're going to color the tree with our Stampin' Blends as well as her legs and shoes. So her shoes um, are going to obviously match. Um, they'll be the Manolo Blahnik version of dark blackberry bliss to coordinate <laughs> or are these jimmy choos it's so hard to know <laughs> i know we're fancy well you can be fancy when you're coloring it in and you're not paying for them <laughs> and no sketchers, that's for sure. <laughs> they're not sketchers this is true. Okay, then I'm going to use my Massey Meadow um, for the um, for the evergreeny stuff. And what I'm kind of doing, so this is my dark Massey Meadow, is I'm just kind of scribbling on here the dark, and then we'll fill it in with the light here in just a moment. But what's great about this is because of the way the stamp set is, you don't have to really color it all that good. <laughs> You can just, so we'll fill this out a little bit more and so isn't that just fun and then I'll make sure there aren't any white spots in the center. So there we go. Oh, I love this. Okay, then um, for my skin tone, I'm going to use ivory. We also have bronze if you want a darker skin tone. So there are um, a couple of options, but I will use, um, this is kind of like a Midwest white. <laughs> so isn't that fun? Um, and... There we go. Now we kind of have this business in the center. Don't worry, we're gonna cover that up. But that is our cute little girl there so far. Okay, now I'm gonna put the rest of the card together and then we're gonna put a sentiment over this kind of border area. So let's do that next. Um, so the blends coloring was pretty simple, right? Okay, next up, I cut some layers of cardstock. And I've got um, a piece of black cardstock and then a piece of printed paper. This is from the um, Pattern Play Hostess pack. And it is really a uh, wonderful paper. There's lots of different patterns of black, so you can choose from lots of different things. Kind of got this sort of platy pattern. Okay, but there's lots of different things you could use. And then I also took one of my favorites. Um, this is some black glitter paper. And we're going to put this right over the top. Now, if you are like me, you probably are thinking to yourself, wow, she is going to put, um, she's going to not, she's just going to put this layer over that perfectly good black glitter paper, right? Don't worry, we're gonna punch a couple things out of this because I feel strongly that you should never just waste paper that you're gonna cover. So I cut a couple postage stamp punches out of this and I can use that on something later. Um, 
<laughs> so there you go. But I'm going to place this over the top like that. And see, now I have saved my paper. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to adhere this to my card. Oops. Um, oh, Ooh, well, I'm going to put that down like so. Okay, and then I'm going to pop this layer up on top. And what I love about that glitter paper is it just adds kind of a fun sparkle to this card, which I think is so cute. And then I also kind of like that we did a little non-traditional. We I used blackberry instead of like a red or a group, like, well, probably red for this. So that's just fun. We'll pop that up like that. Um, okay. Oh my. Ooh, I did not see. We have a, oh goodness. Grow up, Vincent. Seriously. Okay. So look at that sparkle. All right. Now here's the big decision. <gasps> I need y'all to help me with this one. Um, we have two choices of card base. We can do Blackberry Bliss or white. So white kind of brightens the whole thing up. And by the way, don't worry, we're not quite done with this, but um, I just wanted to pick my card base or Blackberry. Makes it more rich, I guess, is a good way. Um, oh my, thank you, Barbara. All right. Okay, ooh, Blackberry, what else? Um, anybody else? Blackberry, Blackberry, a couple people are saying white, but mostly Blackberry. Okay, so I'll just do one more quick white. Da, 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 or Blackberry. Da, da, da. Okay, well, it looks like Blackberry is the overall favorite. So we'll go ahead and put it on like that. Of course, we'll put a white layer on the inside because we can do that. Oh my goodness, my dog is barking. I don't like that. So I'm just going to put just the very top of the tree on the inside of the card. Okay. And then um, once again, we'll color this really quick. Oh, I hate when this happens. Okay. So I'm just going to color again. Really, you can see I'm just kind of scribbling on here because it just goes with the look of, of that scribbly tree, which I like. The sketchy kind of look of it. Not sketchy like mm, bad part of town. Sketchy as in the style. <laughs> okay. So there we go. That looks pretty good. All right. And then... Last but not least, we want to stamp our sentiment on here. Um, so I'm going to take a little scrap of white cardstock and I'm going to stamp sending love and Christmas cheer. But I don't want the whole thing. I just want the sending love part. So to do that, I'm going to ink up part of this, but not the whole thing. I want to use a post-it note to help me block off the ampersand, the N sign, as well as the rest of the sentiment. Okay, oops, this is gonna be a little easier, a little harder than I thought. Don't worry, we can do it. I don't like using, um, I know the 
the next question out of your mouth is why wouldn't I just use my markers? And I don't like using my markers because I think I get such a better impression by inking it with the ink. So I'm just going to take my post-its and kind of get everything blocked off. I think I've got it. So I just want the sending love and that was pretty easy. Now, this is the most important part. Remove all of those post-its. Okay, and then we'll stamp that down on my cardstock. Okay, and I'm just gonna snip this off. And then we're going to punch the ends with my pick a banner punch like that. And then we're going to set this kind of over that messy middle portion of our card. Okay. So I'm going to close this up. Oh, actually then on the inside, I'm going to do the whole saying. Okay. So again, this is going to go on the inside of our card. But this is going to go on the outside of our card. And I will pop this up. Like so. I probably would have trimmed this a little skinnier. Let's see if I still can. Just because... Okay, and then I'm just going to put that on there like so. Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, put some rhinestones in the tree. Well, actually, what we're going to do is put some Wink of Stella in the tree. I guess we could put some rhinestones too. Um, You know what we could do? We could take, I've got a few of these rhinestones that we could color and make them blackberry. There are, right now they're um, kind of cherry cobbler, but if I color them with my blackberry blend, that would make them a little darker. Okay. There we go. How fun is that? And then of course, we'll put this on the inside. So super cool cards. Let me just show you. Um, let me just show you all of our projects from today. Um, and don't forget, <coughs> we've got game night. We kick game night, uh, game night off tonight with mystery stamping over in our um, game night Facebook group. And we're going to make, um, I'm going to give you some clues for some fun card, to, to make a fun card. But let me get rid of my, let me get rid of my garbage and then we'll put these together. Okay, so we have this card. Da, da, da. Then we've got... The Halloween card. We've got our friend card. So much fun. And then our Merry Christmas card. Aww. 
So uh, tomorrow night we're gonna u- we're gonna make some really awesome projects. Um, we are gonna use this um, super cute set called Delivering Cheer. Um, you don't have to have it to make our cards, but if you want, you can add it to your registration. So it's pretty awesome. Um, also, don't forget when you spend fifty dollars in my online store, you will get a free. Blackberry Beauty All Star Tutorial Bundle. And if you spend $75, you'll get the tutorial plus a package of those awesome gems I showed earlier. Um, I also have my Creating Sunshine, um, or I'm sorry, Sunshine and Creativity Delivered <laughs> registration for our November box is going on now to the end of this month. And it, if you would like to get in on that, we are going to be using. The Merry Snowflakes Bundle. Of course, if you have a different Snowflake Bundle, you can certainly substitute. That's very um, easy to do. And it is just, the reviews have been so awesome. I've been so excited about how much everybody's loved their boxes. And of course, if you are a current subscriber, our October box is going out this week. So we are actually working on that literally as we speak. I've got my helpers here helping me put those boxes together. We're so excited about the projects. Oh, I can't wait. So anyway, thank you so much for joining joining me here today, my friends. Um, if you could give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can do that in the little lower right-hand corner. Um, and I will see you right back here next Monday. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.